Hi guys, welcome back, Scanlink here, and we're all for more Final Fantasy Anniversary Edition in the last episode. We went into the Marsh Cave, this time we went south into the cave, where we went deep into grids worth of rooms, and we found, if the menu wants to load, and go to key items, a crown! A crown that shimmers mysteriously. And with that, we also had tons of money, so we made our way back to Elfheim, and we're gonna go do some shopping. So... First of all, the stuff that I want to go do first of all is to, let's see here, so we are able to learn level 4 magic now? Yes. Uh, is there any weapons that we need? I don't believe so, because we did that two episodes ago. If it wants to access it. Hello. Thank you, that was delayed. Oh, wait, he could still use a saber. I guess I'll buy one of those then. So let's go do that. Skimitar to a saber. Yep, it's better overall. Yep, I'll go do that. So let's sell off that Skimitar. That's useless to me. And we'll sell off those clothes as well because we don't need that. That's basic rubbish. So that was actually worth going back in there then. I was, I thought I was done with that store to be fair. But I wasn't, so that's fine. We've got some uh, money as well, so let's... Uh, go buy two of these, I remember now, I want to buy two of these, because I want one for um, Solber here, because it's better than his leather armor as I've explained before, it's the same defense, but it's lighter, as we see here, leather armor is a little bit heavier, so that works out well, and for Flo, it's better than the clothes, so there we go, we will now sell the leather armor. Yeah, weight of 8 instead of a weight of 1. Definitely way better. So, there we go. Makes him a little bit more speedy in his evasion stats. So that was definitely worth. So now we don't need to go back to that store ever again. The only thing that we need to do now is to buy our last magic. So let me have a look here. Am I, am I decked out with all the magics I want? I'm still missing one level 3 magic for Flow. So let's go do that. And the one I want is Dyra. Because, well... No blaze can be learned by a knight, so as Dyra can't, we might as well teach that to our flow here. She can go with the flow. Horror diddly ha ha ha. And I'm making bad jokes because we're just running around this empty place. Right, so how much money do we have left? 2900. 20, right, so I might. I, I believe I want to get Poisoner first. I'm pretty sure that's the one I want first, because that's, that's a heal, right? But that cures silence. But Poisoner is more better than Vox, because Poisoner can heal from poison, so we don't need to rely on antidotes that much. That might be worth. Then again, saying that, where's the uh, black magic store? Here it is. Blizzard would also be nice, because I've got multi-attacking fire and multi-attacking thunder from Fire and Thundera, but not Blizzara, so I think I'll actually want this. I think that'll be better. Yeah, I'll do that. I've already done it now, so I'm committed. I'm committed! And yeah, that's uh, that's all we can do for now, so... Got all level 3 magics for Flow, got one level mag 4 magic for Daewoo, plus he has more magic than anyone else, so... That's probably going to be the best thing I can do. With the last of my money, I'm going to buy some items, replenish my potions, we used quite a few because we we're taking a lot of damage. How many can I buy? I can buy up to 11. I will buy, let's see, 3, so that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'll buy 8. And with antidotes, I'll just spend the last of my money on them just to be on the safe side. And there we go. Right. So, how much money do I have? Uh, 20 gil. So, I wanted to rest in the. Um, in the inn, but I know for a fact that's going to be a little pricey here at 100 gil, so I want to go back to Cornelia, and I want to rest there, so give me a moment while I cut back there. And we're back at the beginning, oh how nice, what have you got to say? Hi there, I'm a dancer, was that you want to dance with me? <laughs> hey, shouldn't you be taking that crown to the king of the western keep? Though, come to mention it, there does seem to be something strange going on there. Hmm, <coughs> so... Western Keep, eh? Well, we could try that way, but that way's on the landmass that we're exploring right now. So maybe it's talking about this spot. 
Maybe. But that's not what we're here for. I thought I'd just do that just in case. But I am here for the cheap 30 gil stay. And look at my money already! Seriously, just walking from Elfheim to the ship, I got three encounters. I don't know why. That was quite ridiculous. But I'm going to cut back to when we get back to uh, Elfheim. Because once we get off the ship, we are going to continue going straight to our next destination. Okay, getting out of that battle, we are back here. I got cut off as soon as I got onto the mainland. This is what we're looking at right now. 283 HP on Zest, 166 on Sorba, 226 on Flow, and 105 for Daewoo. I think I said before, like in part one, that black mages get more HP than white mages, and I was totally wrong about that. I, what I meant was Daewoo, well, black mages get more magic than white mages. I think I got confused on that, and I apologize for that. But yes, we need to go onwards to that square with a little white on the top. And two bloody cobras ga gave Sober bloody poisons, that's fun. Use one of our many antidotes that we've already paid for, we haven't even left town yet, so you know what, screw that, I'm going to renew that. And there we go, I've now made it up to ten antidotes. Now I should be, like, not even hurting for those, because we don't have poisoner yet. Three Trancellors, weren't going to deal with them because of poison, I just ran, it was primitive strikes, so it was fine. Can I say that, even to Ogres, Zest is doing, uh, well, pretty much 90 to 100 damage. Alright, so let's keep heading north here, there's a lake here, I believe we go left to avoid it? Yeah, we have to go round. Well, actually, can we squeeze through here? Yeah, we can! That actually helps immensely, so I don't have to walk around and get into more random encounters. And there we are! We're already here! That is literally how it is on this part of the map. If we go any further, we're just going to be blocked off by this river here. So, let's enter. The Western Keep. This music. Hmm. No random encounters so far. There doesn't seem to be a lot we can do here, it seems very run down. Something to the Chaos Shrine in that regard. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. That seems like an exit way. And uh, yeah, there's not really much we can do here. There's literally just one room and that's it. Alright, I guess we're gonna go enter. Now, I recommend that well, we haven't been doing this so far since it's becoming too, like, difficult battles that we know what's coming up to. But I'm going to say that every time that you feel like you're going to go into a room and there's going to be a boss behind there, I would recommend to save. Of course, if you're playing any other, ver like, PlayStation version or behind, you can't save anywhere, as far as I'm aware. Definitely not in the NES version. You have to use a tent or an inn or something stupid. So you would want to save right before you go into the dungeon. But in this case, always take the chance to save before you go into a... Uh, into a boss battle because if you game over you have to reload at your previous save point So yeah, make sure you've saved Right, it's file 6. I've got file 7 as a backup. Oh This door's been bound by the mystic key. Okay, so it's not that room then <laughs> Well, it looks like we got another area to come back to. That's fun. So this ain't the room I need So this is a two-room castle, excuse me. I messed up and the entrance way is here. Ah, here we go. Yeah, because this is just a dead end room. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. There's a king here. But wait, before we talk to him, notice that he isn't shimmying like everyone else that we've talked to before. That must mean that he is not what he is supposed to be. Because whenever we see people like NPCs or people that we can talk to, they shimmy. They, they're basically doing their walking animation like this. But this guy ain't doing it, so... Yeah, this is why I told you to save, because you don't know what you're going to be dealing with. Luckily, when you stand right in front of him, you still have a chance, so... <laughs> you fools fell right into my trap. I am Astos, King of the Dark Elves. Oh, well, you're not going to get away from us now. We've blocked the exit. It's your fault for putting some statues around your area. With the combined power of the crown you now hold, and the crystal eye I already possess, crystal eye, who needs that? I will become the true elf king. 
So, it is useless to resist me. I can take what is mine by sheer force. So yeah, we need the crown from the Marsh Cave in order to trigger this battle. And we need it to because this dude holds the Crystal Eye, which Matoya wants. And if we get that to Matoya, she might be able to make what we heard was a tonic or some form of medicine to cure the elf, uh, the, the elven prince of his curse, which means we can get the Mr. Key, which means we get loads of goodies. So you see how this is all working so far? Instead of doing what we were supposed to, save the crystals and whatnot, which we can see in the menu, we're just doing one massive fetch quest. But yeah, it leads all the way up to Astos, and he's a little bit of a bugger. This is where the game could spike a little. This dude can kill you guys in one hit with, I believe, some different form of gaze? I'm not too sure. But yeah, this dude is not to be messed with. So you want to take your time and focus. So first of all, what I want to do is that I want to invis... Um, because I don't want to lose people. But what I, I'm going to invis Sorba. Seems like a good thing to do here. Uh, he's a boss, so I doubt Dark or Sleep is going to do anything. I could try Hold. But again, he's a boss, so I'm not entirely too sure. It's really if you're going against tough, normal enemies, you want to use those kind of stuff. So I'm thinking of damage right now. He's an imp of some sort, so I would assume fire is the best. Like I said, Blazara, because it's a higher level, it does more damage and it requires more MP. 18 to 15. I'm going to use fire. See what that does. And of course, I'm using the multi-hit one because it just does more damage regardless, as you'll see here. Wabooski! 69, 61, Invis, let's get that off. Alright, so we're fine for now. So let's get off another Invis, this time on Zest, because they, they, these two are going to get hit the most, so I don't want them to get hit by this attack. And since White Mages and Black Mages have more evasion than other units anyway, they'll probably have a higher chance of dodging. Technically, a higher resistance to magic, I guess you could say. But, you know. Let's try Blazaro this time. We haven't seen that in effect yet. Ow. <laughs> Wasn't much of an owl. This dude's gonna die soon. So let's do that. Blazaro. Hibiuski. 104. That was actually stronger than fire. So Blizzard is his weakness, apparently. I don't care if I'm using my Invis uh, magic pat My Invis on magic. Yeah, my magic power on Invis, if I can talk. Because, you know, it's always worth. Especially since we- Oh, we killed him, never mind. He didn't actually do the attack I was getting worried about. I think that's the easiest time I've ever had with him, actually. You're not gonna lie. 562 experience, 2,000 gil. Hell yeah. That's enough for- Well, that's almost enough for another level 4 magic. You have obtained the crystal eye! Always goes off longer than I expect. But yes. We now has the crystal, so she can hook us up. Wait, what? Okay, I thought I could exit that way. But yes, we are done here. That is all we had to come here for. So now we must wake our way back to our ship in order to meet Matoya. Alright, we're back on the boat. I thought I'd cut all that out because we're just doing battles that we've already done. I'm heading to Cornelia again because that's the nearest stop in order to get back to Matoya's cave as we check on the map here. we got to get back here. In order to get the, in order to return the crystal eye, whatever she will give us should help the Elven Prince. So we come back over this way, and then once we get the Mystic Key, we gotta go to the special room, in, well, to the uh, um, the item room or treasure room, whatever it's called, in Elven, in the Elven Castle, as well as Cornelia Castle, as well as the Marsh Cave, and basically everywhere that we've been. Yeah. Oh, and even the Urkel Shrine, that's a thing. So yeah, we've got a lot of things to do, but I think I'll leave that for the next episode. But for now, I'm going to go heal again. Now, instead of cutting the Matoya's cave, what I want to do is hop into my boat here quickly. I don't want to go up and around here. Remember that boat? Uh, remember the bridge, even? We can go under that. That's cool. It doesn't look like it is because it's flat, but we're, it's actually on a completely different layer. So we can go right under that, come over this way and just skip all those easy encounters, even though we've still got some to go through, and then we can easily get to Matoya's cave. So I'm going to cut out these encounters. Because they're all weak and they're not worth my time, and now we're back here again. Let's just, excuse me, you broomstick. 
Matoya, we have your eye. In fact, before we do that, let me check what it actually says. Transparent orb of crystal. If I didn't do that, we wouldn't be able to check it. Notice how like, we've kept the crown, though, because we defeated the dude. It actually has another purpose later, believe it or not. But anyway, crystal eye. Oh, what's this? My crystal eye. Give it here. Don't worry, I have something to give you in exchange. Take this potion. It's the most amazing potion in my entire collection. You obtain the herb! Smoke weed every day. Actually, it's the Jolt Tonic. They changed it. And look, she's got eyes again! Even though she only had one eye to begin with. Okay. I can see. I can see again. You still here? I don't need you anymore, so be on your way. <laughs> You're not even as attractive as you had thought you'd be. Uh, rude! Lady, I'll punch that eye back out of your socket. How rude. Anyway, with that little slander to our faces, we has the Jolt Tonic. Serum to break even the deepest sleep. What's the curse that the Elven Prince is under? Internal sleep. So, that's our solution. Now, the reason why I said the herb is because that in the NES original, and I believe it's the NES original only, maybe the PC, uh, the old PC versions, maybe the Wonder Swan Colour as well, it was actually called the herb. The reason why it was changed is because that could be interpreted as, well, weed, <laughs> as I made the reference to. But yeah, with that, we need to head back to our ship and back to Elfheim again, so... Let me just slog my way back to my ship and skip any of these easy battles that are going to get in my way. Unless we deal with a crazy horse, let's just see how much damage we do. A hundred clean from Sober with four hits. Damn. And I was about to cut, but... <laughs> we were almost at the ship and then two cra- Wow, two battles of crazy horses. I was thinking, oh, do I need to cut again? But no, I was next to the ship. But then, no, again, Crazy Horse shows up. Thanks. Well, never mind. I had to cut last time because like, every two steps I got into a battle with bloody imps slash goblins. So it was like, just get out of my face. You're not worth my time. Anyway, let's get back into our ship here and start sailing. I mean, why not? Might as well leave this bit in. We're almost done for this episode anyway. Keep it short because we're going to have to do a lot of backtracking. Even though we're already doing that right now, it's basically just going for one item. Here we've got a bunch of stuff to grab with the Mystic Key. That's basically what the next episode's going to be all about. Getting items. Get some nice swag. And here we are. Let's go wake the Elven Prince. Rescued the princess and captured the ship. We got the Mystic Key from Elven Prince. This jolt tonic may just be what we need to break the curse and awaken the prince. I will try it once. That fade out did absolutely nothing. Your Highness. Your Highness. I was having a terrible nightmare. Am I still dreaming? You are the legendary warriors. Something tells me I'm not dreaming. Well, to be fair, if you saw the four warriors of light standing above your bed, do, do, aside your bed, apparently waking you from your curse, maybe you would be dreaming, but then again, if you were having a nightmare, they wouldn't have showed up, so... In that case, I shall follow the legend as it has to been told to me, but, um, to me and my forefathers. It's time for me to pass on the mystic key to its rightful owners has come at last. You obtain the Keyblade that we cannot use to attack people. And he's apparently been fully dressed for five years in bed. And the glow and the clothes grow, they grew with him over the five years. Okay. I am awake and strong again, all because of you. Thank you, Warriors of Light. Indeed. What if we didn't have an actual warrior in our team? Thieves of Light? That would be odd. But yes, we has the Mystic Key. And because we're here right now, I'm just going to show you how it works, and then we're going to be doing a lot of backtracking in the next episode. So that's not the way to go. Oh, I forget. How do I get out to that bit? This is... The... That's why I wanted to do this, because I forget. I, f 
forget how you get in this one. Oh yeah, you gotta go to the corner here, take one more step and you'll get kicked out of the area. Go straight up, because we're literally on the edge of the map. That's how you get here. That's super annoying. And yeah, we can just walk into the door. We don't even need to check the door. All doors will now open to us. Key that opens magically sealed doors. Yep, bound by the mystic key, not anymore. Look at this, Smithful Hammer! 800 gil. 700 gil. And a bro and bronze gloves. Let's go equip those right now. In fact, bang. Mithril Hammer. Warrior can equip that. And a White Mage can equip it. Apparently ninjas as well, but I wouldn't see ninjas using hammers unless it was Naruto. But there you go. Bronze gloves, only the warrior ninja can wield them. Seems like the ninja can wield anything that the warrior can do, mostly. So yeah. Uh, it's weaker for Zest, so that ain't gonna happen. Well, that leather gloves. Yep. And only he can use them. And it's literally one point one point defense higher, two points lower in evasion. Um, they're just better overall, so I'm just going to do that. We've already got the leather gloves, so that's a thing. So, yep. A hammer to the mithril hammer. Definitely a boost, so I can't complain about that. Everyone's got leather gloves. And, yeah. Alright. So, other than those leather gloves and hammer that I'm going to have to sell... We are done for this episode. So, in the next episode, guys, we will... Why am I coming back in here? Pfft, I'm ending off the video. I need to save. In the... Well, I don't need to be on the world map, but whatever. We're going to be exploring. Because, in the next episode, guys, we're going to do a round robin of all the places that we've been to so far. Use the Mystic Key. And, well, gather some sweet equipment. See you guys then.